Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. We're going to do a quick recap of Tesla's Wii Robot event, the Robotaxi event, and I'll give you my quick thoughts right along the way. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. All right, so the event took place at Warner Brothers Studio where they had a makeshift little city prepared with roads and many robotaxis. And it started with Elon getting picked up by a Cybercab robotaxi, which kind of looks like the combination of a Cybertruck from the back mixed with a Model 3 from the front. And I actually really liked it. I think it looks sleek and well-designed. Speaking of which, it is designed with no steering wheel and no pedals. So it's just fully autonomous and you can see it in action here stopping when a few people cross in front of it on bikes too. From there it proceeds to drive Elon up to the stage where he gets out and starts speaking about various issues associated with the traditional auto market saying that current transportation methods suck, you often get stuck in traffic and the vehicles are too expensive which he thinks autonomous driving will solve as the user will theoretically get much more value while also being safer. Your average passenger car is only used about 10 hours a week out of 168 hours. So the vast majority of the time, cars are just doing nothing. But if they're autonomous, they could be used, I don't know, five times more, maybe, maybe 10 times more. After that, though, is where it got a little more interesting. Musk noted that the Cybercab will be available to purchase by regular consumers and that there may even be a future where regular people own a group of Cybercabs that they manage as a business. We, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. Yeah. Yeah. And I think there'll be an interesting um, you know, business model where, like, let's say somebody is in a... Uh, you know, Uber or Lyft driver today, uh, it, they, where they can actually sort of manage a fleet of cars and like a sort of manage, I don't know, 10, 20 cars and just sort of, you know, take care of them like a, like a shepherd uh, tends their flock. You have a little your flock of cars and you're the shepherd and you take care of your flock of cars. I think that'd be pretty cool. Obviously, that would be pretty sweet if they can get that price under 30000 I don't know if they will or won't. Musk does tend to overpromise at times, but I think at that price, it would be very compelling. Of course, all Teslas will be capable of these functionalities, though. And up next, Elon spoke about a possible release window time frame. We, we do expect actually to, st to start uh, fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in... Texas and California next year. And that, that's obviously, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. And then we, we, we expect to be in production with the, the Cybercab, which is really um, hi, highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames. Um, but but in, to, in, in 2026. <laughs> So, yeah, before 2027, let me put it that way. <laughs> Again, like I said, Elon does tend to overpromise on a lot of stuff, specifically delivery dates too. So the fact that he was kind of laughing here while he said before 2027 makes me think that this thing is at least two years out. And hopefully it's not too much later than that because Tesla as a company could really use some new products to drive growth for them as soon as possible. Anyway, from there, Musk talked about how they have millions of vehicles out on the road collecting data. And because of those millions of experiences that regular people might not have, they're just gonna be a lot safer and better trained at driving while also not getting tired, falling asleep on the road, or getting distracted by text messages or other human-like uh, you know, distractions. From there though, he told the crowd that they have 50 autonomous vehicles at the event so that everyone can try them out and get the full experience of autonomous driving in this makeshift city that they set up. He then said that the cyber cabs will have inductive charging, very interesting, no plugs. And he showed off a video of some type of robotic cleaning platform for the robo taxis to further push that whole concept of autonomy uh, even further. And that is of course related to, you know, have managing a fleet of robo taxis. You wanna be able to charge them more conveniently and clean them as well, have it all be done autonomously. As he was talking though, the audience started to kind of chatter and make a little more noise, and that was because the robo van was approaching. Green space, 
in the cities that we live in. So yeah, this thing obviously looks really cool and I love how they kept that same sleek design. Elon didn't unfortunately mention a time frame for this one though, so it may be even further out than everything else, but as long as they do end up releasing it at some point in the future, I do think it'll have huge potential for them long term in both public transport as well as transporting goods. And I think it'll serve a good purpose there. Uh, towards the end of the presentation though, Elon brought out the Tesla bots and asked everyone to party. It'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks. Um, whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I, I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Yeah. Now one of the things we wanted to show tonight was uh, that Optimus is not a canned video. It's not walled off. The Optimus robots will walk among you. Please, please be nice to the Optimus robots. So, yeah, with that, um, let's party. All right, so my overall thoughts. Not too bad of an event. Strangely though, the cheaper Model 2, that $25,000 car that everyone has been speculating about, it was absent, guys. So that was a bit of a bummer. They didn't mention it at all. And it's definitely the biggest issue that I saw myself with the event. And my guess is also that it's probably a big reason why the stock actually fell after the event. It's down like 12% for the week. But apart from that, everything else as a Tesla shareholder, I did really like because I do think that Tesla is setting the trend here for what autonomy will look like. And that really should be a massive market worth trillions long term. And as for the Model 2, my gut just kind of tells me that they probably didn't want to unveil it so early because it might hurt their current sales if everyone is waiting for that and it's still like over a year out. But I also have a sneaking suspicion, guys, that the Model 2 could just end up being like a cheaper cyber cab, maybe one with a wheel and pedals, but without the full self-driving included. Because if you think about it, the cyber cab should be mass produced and they say it'll cost less than 30,000. If that's true, then maybe you can make a cheaper version of that take out the full self-driving, sell it for a cheaper price, like 25,000 or so, and then maybe later on you can pay extra to add the full self-driving if you want to. But at that price point, I think it would sell extremely well and do, do very well for them. So that's kind of my suspicion that I have for it. But overall, it just kind of feels like everything discussed here is still at least two years out, maybe more. And that's something that I am a little bummed about and it's something that I think is gonna be a little bit of a drag on the on the stock, makes it a little bit of a tougher pill to swallow at the current valuation. But, you know, longer term, for long term kind of investors like myself, again, I did like what I saw. And, you know, we talk so much about Tesla's competition doing these things too. So why does Tesla deserve the premium price tag compared to rivals? But honestly, when do you ever see them do you know give such cool presentations like this or bring as much hype into these future markets markets or push as hard into them as Tesla does I feel like the other automakers just don't do it like Tesla and Tesla really has a way of just getting people very excited about cars and AI and autonomous driving and robotics and energy and I think that's why the stock always trades for a premium like a technology stock rather than just a traditional automaker but hey what do you guys think I'd love to hear your thoughts down below let me know your thoughts Thank you for stopping by my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video, this quick recap, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, take care everybody. Bye-bye.